Hey food lovers, welcome to my channel. So today guys, I'm going to share with you the most delicious pepper chicken recipe. As you know, there's absolutely no Nigerian Christmas lunch without fried chicken. So this fried chicken recipe is a must have in your Christmas menu. This recipe is very easy to make. The chicken has a crunchy golden brown exterior and it's soft and juicy in the inside. The chicken is immersed in the most delicious tomato pepper sauce to amplify the flavor in this video i also share tips on how to get the most flavorful chicken without marinating the meat oh yeah guys it's possible trust me guys your family and friends will love you more for this so let's get started so here's the list of ingredients we need to make the fried chicken in tomato pepper sauce. You'll find the recipe in the description box. Do well to check it out. So right now I'm just going to start off by prepping my aromatics. So I'm just going to chop my onion finely in the blender. So that's what I'm up to right now, preparing the aromatics. I'm also going to chop the ginger right now into smaller chunks so it's easier to blend. So ginger is a must have in this recipe. It has that beautiful, rich, distinct flavor. So you must use ginger, garlic and the habanero pepper. It adds that beautiful fragrance to the meat. It's really good guys. So that's all I have for my aromatics. I'm off to blend it up. So right now, this is uh, the whole chicken I'm going to use for this recipe. We're using a lot of chicken. This is a bulk cooking video. So I hope you enjoy it. So I'm just going to chop the chicken uh, into smaller pieces. So this is a small, tiny chicken, but guys, it's packed with a lot of flavor. This is small, but mighty. This is a very um, small chicken that is packed with a lot of flavor. Trust me, guys, you can eat a whole bowl of this chicken without stopping. It's so good, guys. So I'm just going to cut the chicken into smaller pieces before we proceed to giving it a good wash and cooking. So now the chicken is all clean. I'm just gonna transfer them to a pot. So I'm using a very wide pot to cook the chicken. And that's my um, pureed aromatics. It's been finely chopped. So this will help release the flavor and aroma of the aromatics. And when I talk about aromatics, it's a blend of ginger, garlic, habanero pepper, and onion. So you'll find me use this um, word a lot in my recipe so i love to use habanero pepper because it has that beautiful fragrance and also the heat but the most important thing about habanero pepper is is the fragrance it adds to your meal so i'm also going to add my spice so i added some um, curry powder some thyme some nutmeg and um, bay leaf and as well as salt salt and seasoning powder and I'll just mix everything together. So because it's bulk cooking, it's going to take a little bit of effort to get all of that stuff inside the meat. So at this point, if you have that time, you want to marinate the chicken overnight. But sometimes you don't have the luxury of, you know, marinating your meat. But I have a beautiful tip to share with you today on how you can get the best out of your chicken. It's still going to be as flavorful as though it was marinated overnight. So what you want to do, the trick here is to cook the meat low and slow so you're gonna cook it on medium low adjust your setting to right about four and that meat is gonna cook slowly 
and the spice all those beautiful aromatics and the spice will just gradually infuse into the meat as you cook low and slow so that's the trick guys whenever you want to cook your chicken without marinating you have to cook on medium low heat so that's it guys it's gonna be as good as though you marinated the meat so that's what i'm doing right now so this was right after five minutes on fire i went back and gave it a good stir to ensure it's not burning as you can see this recipe doesn't call for water so we don't need water because there's a lot of juice in the meat so as we cook low and slow the meat is going to release its natural juices and you're going to see the amount of stock we got out of this recipe it's pretty impressive guys so it doesn't call for water it's just going to intensify the flavor of the stock we get out of the meat as well as you know keep the meat very flavorful so i'm going to cover and cook for right about 45 minutes on medium low and at this point the meat is ready and can you see all that juice is released from the meat it's the natural juice from the meat so you don't have to use water so that's also a tip to get your meat really flavorful this holiday season cook with less water little or no water and you cook on low heat so the meat is ready it's soft it's juicy it's flavorful it's so yummy So at this point it's time to prepare our tomato base to coat the meat so i just added in some cooking oil to a pot i'm just gonna allow that to heat up for right about a minute or so and in goes my onion so i cut my onion in round rings so for this recipe guys you want to cut your onion this way to add texture to the sauce so it's a sauce it's not a soup or a stew where it's smooth so we want a little bit of texture so that's why i cut the onion in rings so i'm gonna cook this down for just a minute we don't want to cook it for too long because we want to have a little bit of texture in the sauce as we cook the onion is going to release its beautiful flavor and aroma and then we're going to add the pepper mix so the pepper mix is um, just bell peppers and habanero pepper and I'm just gonna add the pepper mix and give it a good stir and after which it's time to add the crushed tomatoes you can add substitute dates for some fresh tomatoes it's gonna work okay so in goes the crushed tomatoes I added two cups I'm just gonna mix to combine and we're gonna cook this down until the moisture content in the sauce has reduced and you have to stir continuously while you cook to prevent the sauce from burning so guys for this recipe um, it's ideal you use a non-stick pot because it's going to prevent your sauce from burning but if you want to use a stainless steel pan you have to watch it closely you don't want the sauce to burn if it burns it's going to affect the taste and the color we don't want any of that so i'm just going to cook by stirring continuously i cooked for right about 20 minutes until the moisture content in the sauce has evaporated you see that with the reduction in the volume of the sauce as well as you see a lot of oil floats on top so it tells you that a lot of liquid has gone out of the, the sauce and you can see the texture is a little bit different so it's a bit chunky as if it has a little bit of lump but this is a texture you should look out for while you cook your sauce too is an indication that the sauce is ready so at this point I'm gonna season so guys for seasoning we're gonna keep it as simple as possible this is not a stew it's a sauce to you know coat our flavorful meat you don't want to overpower the flavor of the chicken the chicken was well seasoned and it's flavorful so we want that flavor to shine out so the sauce is just gonna help complement the flavor of the chicken so we want to keep it simple so I'm gonna season with some salt as well as some seasoning powder and that's it guys trust me it works really well so the flavor and fragrance from the habanero pepper as well as the bell pepper will do the magic for us so it's that simple guys you don't want to add no curry powder none of that stuff in here it's going to overpower the sauce and you know you have that taste of stew you want to have the taste of a sauce so trust me guys 
it works really well so right now it's time to fry our meat i just added in some cooking oil and once again i added some onion i love to add onion before i add the meat it helps to release that beautiful flavor and aroma of the onion into the oil and this will also infuse into the meat it's a win-win guys you have to try this method it's so good see how it smells really good while you cook I just added in the meat and we're going to fry this meat down until it's brown and that's it guys you will stir occasionally while you fry to prevent it from burning as well as distribute the heat evenly. As you can see the meat is brown so at this point it's ready we're gonna take it out so I fried this meat for right about 10 minutes so you're gonna fry five minutes on either side you want that golden brown color and yeah we're just gonna get the meat out and we have a lot of meat to fry so we'll just get the first batch and clean out the oil before we fry the next batch i'm gonna show you how you can clean out the oil i also share the reasons why we have to clean out the oil really important guys So now I'm just going to take out the onion. Um, it's already done the work by infusing that flavor into the oil. So I'm just going to get it out as well as some particles from frying the meat. So this is really important, cleaning out the oil before you put in the next batch. You can see we have a lot of um, browned particles in the oil. So if you don't take this out, it's going to stick on the meat in your next batch. And you don't want all of that stuff on the meat. It might add that bitter taste to your meat so you don't want that you want to get rid of all of that so i just use a strainer a small strainer to clean out the oil and that's what you want to do after each batch after frying your meat remember this is a large batch of meat So the oil is all cleaned and ready to receive the next batch. So I just added in the chicken and we're just going to fry this like the first batch. We're going to fry golden brown five minutes on either side and you will stir occasionally while you fry the meat to help distribute that heat evenly so the meat can brown up evenly to also prevent it from burning as well so that's what we are up to right now fried chicken all day every day for patty it pairs really well with everything so this is my gift for me to use this holiday season i hope you try out the recipe and if you do i would love to get your feedback and i know you're absolutely gonna love it my family loved it it's so good guys it's good as it is but when we add the tomato sauce it's gonna take the sauce to the next level so good guys and at this point the meat is ready like you can see we're just gonna get it out of the oil and um clean out the oil once again before we add the next batch and that's it guys after frying the meat the next stage will be immersing the meat in that beautiful sauce and that's it guys we're almost done And here's the sauce so i just gave it a quick stir just to heat it up and this is the fried meat oh my gosh can you see how delicious this looks i just want to devour all of that so in goes the meat into the tomato pepper sauce so once the meat is all in the next thing we want to do is just mix everything together so you're just going to mix to combine 
you just mix thoroughly to ensure that the sauce is well coated all around the meat that's a very flavorful sauce so you want it all around the meat so you just take your time and stay as it cooks to incorporate that sauce into the meat and at this point you want to reduce your heat um, to medium heat it's just going to cook slowly to infuse the flavor of the tomato pepper sauce into the meat and that's it guys the last thing we want to do for this stage is just to add um, some freshness so i'm just going to add some chopped bell peppers as well as some onion and some habanero pepper just for extra heat that's optional if you don't want that additional heat you can skip it but the bell peppers will give that beautiful vibrant color as well as add a little bit of flavor to the dish so that's it guys the pepper chicken is ready so we prepare this party style your guests your family your friends everyone is gonna love this trust me guys you have to try the recipe it's short to while your family and friends and your guests as well once you garnish you just um, cook for additional two minutes and that's it it's ready guys the longer the meat sits the more it's gonna infuse that flavor so you can prep ahead of time it's gonna be more flavorful the next day and just keep it in your fridge and warm it up it's really good the next day and that's it guys I hope you enjoyed if you did why not give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell notification it gives you an instant update as soon as i upload my videos i love you so much for watching and subscribing and i'll see you in my next one